Okay guys, welcome to this video. Is it possible to memorize the entire Bible? How long would it take you to memorize the entire Bible word for word? Let me answer the first question. Is it possible to memorize the entire Bible? Yes, I believe it is. Because I believe anything is possible in, in memory and with enough time and with enough work, I believe it's possible. Okay, it's gonna take a lot of time. How much time? Well, I'll answer that in the video. By the way, I don't want to get caught up on memorizing the entire Bible, okay? Most people don't are not going to do it. Matter of fact, I don't know if anybody's going to do it. Is it possible? Probably. Is, are most people going to do it? No. Most people want to memorize a chapter or a book or a few verses here and there. That is certainly possible. How long would it take to memorize the entire Bible? Well, I kind of can make a guess on this based on some other data. I memorized the United States Constitution word for word. It's 4,543 words. It's very similar to the Bible in the fact that it's not random data. It's sentences. For example, I also memorized everybody who died in the war in Afghanistan. Uh, it's rank, first name, last name of the 2,400 fallen soldiers. That's 70, over 7,000 words, 7,500 words roughly. That took me almost a year to memorize those 7,500 words. Why? Because it was random data. Uh, rank, first name, last name, followed by rank, first name, last name. It, they, didn't, they didn't go together. It was just random names. But when you're memorizing a document such as the Constitution, it's sentences. And one sentence flows into the next. So the Bible's the same way. So I really don't want to take how long it took me to memorize the fallen soldiers because that's not a fair comparison. A fairer comparison is, it for to memorize the Constitution, 4,543 words, I did it in six weeks using the Mind Palace method. Now, it was intense six weeks, an intense six weeks. It was my job during that six weeks. I wasn't working a 40-hour job and then doing this in the evening. This was what I did for six weeks as I memorized the United States Constitution. But as I was able to do it in about six weeks, 4,543 words. So let's look at the numbers for the Bible. The Old Testament has 929 chapters. It has roughly 622,000 words. The New Testament has roughly 184,000 words. Uh, the entire typical Bible has 1,189 chapters. These are may, using 31,173 verses. This amounts to a total of about 800,000 words, depending on what version of the Bible that you're looking at. So let's go back. Let's take a step back and let's just look at the New Testament. For the United States Constitution, I memorized 4,543 words. I did this in six weeks. The New Testament is 40 times longer. 40 times six weeks would be 240 weeks. That means I could potentially memorize the entire New Testament in four and a half years. However, I'm gonna extend that and make my estimate to memorize the New Testament to six or seven years. Cause I'm gonna have maybe even eight or nine years. Cause I'm gonna, I'm going to have to take some things into account. Number one, this is not going to be my job that entire time. I'm going to have to have a job, okay? So six, seven, eight, nine, maybe 10 years. Another thing that you need to take into account, and a lot of people overlook this when it comes to memory. A lot of people overlook this. It's one of the most overlooked things. Today, my, my student asked me, is it realistic for me to memorize five verses a day? I said, yes, it is. At this stage, it's, it's realistic for you to memorize five a day. Why? You memorize five a day tomorrow. You review the previous five. Then you add five more. Now you got 10. The next day, you have 10 verses memorized. You need to review 10 verses before you add the next five. Now you have 15 memorized. So the next day, you review 15 before you add the next five. Imagine this. You're on year two. You have four books of the Bible memorized. You can't just add, you have to incorporate time for review. When you're doing a massive memory project, you are gonna spend more time reviewing than adding new data. That's why memorizing the New Testament alone, 
you might do four and a half years of memory and five years of review. So it could take anywhere from six to 10 years, I believe, my estimation, to memorize the entire New Testament word for word. Now, let's look at my estimated prediction for the Old Testament. For the Old Testament, this is even longer. It's three and a half times as long as the New Testament. So if it was six to 10 years for the New Testament, the Old Testament is three and a half times as long. Let's just round that up to four, four times as long. You are looking at 24 to 40 years, 24 to 40 years to memorize the Old Testament based on this same model. And then I'm, I'm in a way, I'm just spitballing here. I'm just spitballing in a way because I don't know. There, there would be things that I would figure out as I got into this that could shorten this dramatically or could lengthen this dramatically. So if we combine and we round up for review, if we, com if we combine the Old Testament and New Testament and you consider review, I think to memorize the entire Bible would take you 40, 50 years, maybe 60 years. It would be a lifetime project. Is it possible? Yes, I believe it's possible. But when we are talking about memorizing 800,000 words, you are talking about decades and decades and decades of, of memory. I don't think you're going to get it in less than 20 years. I think you're going to be closer to 30 years would be the minimum. And I think 40 to 50 would not be out of the ordinary. Now, that's you got to calculate so many things in there. Is this your only job? Are you doing anything else? Do you have to do you, do you spend do how much time are you spending in reviewing a lot of things? But you know, the the Torah, the first five books of the Bible was passed down through oral review. The Quran uh, is 77,000 words, which is half the length of the New Testament. And there are schools where Muslims will memorize this and these schools last three to five years. So it's half of the New Testament and it's taking them three to five years. Well, my estimation to memorize the New Testament based on my math formula was six to 10 years. That's very much in line with the three to five years. It's half, the Quran is half the size of the New Testament, and it's taking half of my prediction. And by the way, I made my prediction six to 10 years before I saw that number three to five years for the Quran. My prediction was based on how long it took me to memorize the Constitution. So is it possible to memorize the entire Bible? Probably. Probably. <laughs> Am I going to do it? No, I'm not. It's a lifetime memory project, and I'm not going to do it. Is it possible? Probably, but it's going to take you your entire life. Maybe you start with, though, hey, I just want to memorize the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, or I just want to memorize the Sermon on the Mount, or I just want to memorize the Book of Proverbs, or I just want to memorize the Psalms, or I, hey, or make it easy on yourself. I just want to memorize Philemon, you know, a very, very short book of the Bible. So, so I wanted to answer the question, is it possible to memorize the entire Bible? It is. But really, just focus on Bible memory itself. By the way, if you want to get my Black Belt Memory course, click the links down below. If you want to get my Bible memory course, click the link down below. Tell me what your favorite Bible verse is in the comments. Tell me what, how much of the Bible you've memorized or how much verses you've memorized. Tell me what you like to memorize. Give me a thumbs up if this helped you, and I'll see you on the next video.